Hey everybody, this is going to be a guide on Olaf's opening quest, The Great Blizzard. Start off by talking to Merlin and once you go through that dialogue, head up to Frosted Heights and just run around searching for clues. You want to be on the side over by the pillar and you can see once I ran by this wall, it says interact with the wall of the cliff. You'll notice right here is the big cave we've all seen that we know belongs to Olaf. Here it is on the map in case you're having trouble and then you're just going to go ahead and interact with it. So cute. I love when they do little cutscenes like that. So then you're just going to go ahead and go inside and you will find Olaf. So cute. Go ahead and talk to him. You're going to find out that his nose and buttons and arms were all stolen and most of that by squirrels. So then he's going to have you go and chase down the squirrels. Head outside and what you're looking for are the little like purple memory looking squirrels like this, the dark ones. Just run up to them, spam your interact button. You might have to kind of look around because they're kind of running all over. There is four of them total. So you'll see the different items popping out of them as you interact on them. And for some reason, they seem to always be right on top of like a flower or an herb or something. So just pick it up because it's in the way but you can see here I'm going to spam interact and then I got one of his buttons. There's number three and then you're going to see right here that Mickey gets in my way so I had to tell him bye let's hang out later please but I got all four so now I'm going to go back into the secret chamber and give Olaf his stuff back. When you go through that dialogue you're going to end up having to go and now talk to Elsa. She's going to have you go and investigate the pillar and once you walk up to the pillar you can see you can use your watering can to water these little sparkling particles right here. And when you do that, this really creepy horror film frozen memory <laughs> is going to pop up and that's kind of the, your next clue. Lots of back and forth here. You have to go tell Elsa about what you saw and then she's going to send you back to Olaf in the secret chamber. After you go through Olaf's dialogue, you're going to have to use your watering can again on the sparkling particles right here. And we have another really creepy memory. I'm just kidding. It's really cute and funny. I love how they do this with this game, but it's definitely like a little bit creepy. Imagine that happening in real life. Alrighty then, nothing like some detached snowman arms being thrown into a portal connected to an orb by my own doppelganger too. And then we're going to go back and talk to Olaf again. He wants us to find a book about portals. So you see there's a bunch of now sparkling books on the ground. It's not going to be this one. I thought it was. It's actually going to be this one you'll see in a second. But it's cool because you so far seem to be able to keep these books. So I have like multiple books in my inventory. So pick up as many as you want. But the one you're looking for is over here against this wall. The book is called So You Want to Open a Dark Portal? <laughs> I love this game. Talk to Olaf again and he's going to send you to get some supplies. Pick up the shattered prisms inside of the cave first. Don't do what I'm doing because then I had to go all the way back and then all the way back again to my crafting table. So start by picking up these prisms right here as soon as you're going to leave. Then you're going to need 10 glass, which is made of sand and coal ore and five purified night shards. You can dig sand up at the beach. You can actually get coal ore unlimited now at Kristoff's stall, which is amazing. If not, you can just mine that. And then for the night shards, you dig all that stuff up out of the holes on the ground. The ones that look like zits. Once you have everything, you can craft that dreamlight prism under functional items and then head back to the secret chamber. Right up to this pedestal, you're going to interact and then put in the prism and it's instantly going to tell you to find the missing gems that you need. We're going to be making a rainbow, so you need orange, green, and purple. That's what you're missing. So we're going to do citrine, emerald, and amethyst. I'm going to be going and getting these things out of my storage, but you can always refer to your collection if you don't know where stuff is. So amethyst is in the Frosted Heights or Forgotten Land, citrine is in the Glade or the Sunlit Plateau, and emerald is in the Forest or the Glade as well. Only one of each of those, and once you have them, just come over here and make a rainbow that kind of goes down and then up. So the orange goes here. Then the green is going to go closest to the portal and then the purple back up at the front. And then once you put all three of those in, another crazy cutscene is going to happen. After that, walk up to the portal and you have to whisper your darkest fear into it. So you have three options. So just pick whichever one resonates with you the most or that you find funny. Then you're automatically gonna reach in and get the arms and the orb because <laughs> that's normal. Go and give Olaf his arms and then go through his dialogue. You're gonna be like, oh no, the orb is broken. That's so sad. And he's gonna be like, oh, well, I have my arms now. So let me give you a warm hug.
I'm not gonna lie, that was freaking adorable. I love that cutscene. And then, oh my god, the love of your hug actually fixed the orb. I'm not gonna lie, this is a plot twist I did not see because I expected fixing the orb when they said it was broken. I was like, oh, so that's gonna be like more quests. But no, it's just a cute little wholesome moment. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the orb back into the pillar. The usual animation will happen. The blizzard will come to an end. Everything will be clear. And now we're going to go back and talk to Olaf to complete the quest. This will actually put him straight at level two. So you can do his level two friendship quest right away. So I'm going to be working on a guide for that next. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. If it did help you out, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be spamming update content all day long. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great rest of your day.